much for a herring. Crown to me. Huh? Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss orders aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the boss orders, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sword. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then. Then I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment. 
Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye. Got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. Not about to drink with you. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you are. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt.
anyone there? Mighty rusty and covered in creepers. Need another way in. Kendrick? 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 You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets Oh, sweet mother, my little why don't I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot and... Mm hmm So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. A busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Come on. 
fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes, we know him, but he left and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Intruder!
Damn, you're ugly. Wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Her ghosts restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. A grave here? adored flowers but she would never want to destroy them hmm. all right I'll dig the grave somewhere else this place seems suitable yes she loved to paint Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Thank you. 
I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two. Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say, 